Right, in this video, I'm going to work towards putting these cams, these comp cams, into these uh, dual overhead cam 4.6 cylinder heads. Uh, there are going to be some modifications that I got to do to these uh, cam girdles to get these things to fit. These are comps uh, Extreme Energy Stage 2 supercharger cams. They're the same cams, and I'll put the part number down below in the comments. They're the same cams that work for the 4.6, 5.4, and the 5.8 uh, good cams, but uh, I'll show you a little bit of what it takes to get these things to fit inside these cylinder heads. Okay, so I have these laid out uh, very similar to the way that they would go on the engine. So that's considered the right side. Uh, this is considered the left side. Uh, the cams are specific. You have a left intake, left exhaust, right intake, right exhaust. You can get these mixed up, so uh, it's, uh, it's worth noting that the left-hand side is the driver's side. So if the engine were sitting right here, this is how this engine would be laid out. So I'm going to uh, start with this side over here. Uh, when you're doing this, you want to make sure not to get your cam caps mixed up. So I'm only going to do one cam at a time. Uh, before I put the cams in there, I'm going to use some of this Max Tough uh, assembly lube by Royal Purple. I'm just going to put some of that uh, down in these journals right here. Okay, before I put the camshaft in there, I'm going to get these lash adjusters out. I'm going to later on, I'm going to make sure these things are all bled down. It makes installing the cam followers easier. All right, with the cam in place, we can slowly put these caps back on. What you want to be careful of is what happens usually is since these are a taller lift on the lobes, they can hit the caps. So what you don't want to do is tighten this down if it's touching uh, any of the cap. Like this one right here is actually touching. If I were to cinch this down, uh, I could crack this right here. Okay, so what I'm doing is I have these girdles down. Uh, Pretty much all the way down and it, the lobes are coming very close to the girdle uh, they might actually be touching in some spots I haven't tightened these down so it's still gonna have a little bit of play in it I've cut these clean off before uh, any of the webbing in between here and have haven't had an issue but these are uh, these aren't hitting that bad so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm just gonna mark these and go through with a grinder and grind these out just to get some extra clearance on these. Uh, but I'm not gonna chop these off. Now here you can see on these two cams that the lobes are very close to the girdle. I just put a little black mark on Sharpie on these. I did it for all, all of the lobes that get close to it. So now I'm gonna pull this off and uh, grind that out, get a little bit more clearance, and I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. Okay, so now that I got it marked, I have my uh, little uh, rotary tool with a die fixture on there, die grinder. I'm just going to go and I'm going to uh, do a little work on these things. You can use whatever grinding tool you got. Uh, just make sure you wear iPro because stuff is going to be flying. Also, I like to take this like outside so I'm not shooting metal chunks all over my engine parts. All right, so change of plans. I've been grinding on these things for, uh, it seems like at least an hour. Uh, and it I don't like that it's getting these things too thin. I'd rather just cut them off than rather than vibrate and break. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna make these into what looks similar on the uh, Coyote engines. They went to individual uh, cam caps for them. They didn't have the actual whole girdle. They just had different cam caps. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark these so I know that this is gonna be one, two, and three, and then I'm gonna cut them I'm going to cut them off and then bring them back over here. All right, I got my pieces cut, so I'm going to put some uh, more assembly lube on top of these cams. Now I can add my pieces back on there. Okay, so even with these cut, there's still a few areas that... Uh, I'd like to grind down a little bit here just to make sure there's plenty of
clearance. All right, so here's the finished product. Uh, just take your time with it, and each time you put it on here, uh, make sure that you uh, blow it off real good, wipe it off real good. You don't want any uh, metal flakes on here. These are snug down. Uh, when I put this center one on there, I just tried to center it on the uh, bolt holes. And uh, these are snug down. These, these uh, caps are snug down, and this camshaft still rotates nice and easy. Got plenty of clearance now. Uh, from the caps uh, It can be a little time-consuming, but just take your time uh, And do it right the first time because you don't want any contact with these things um, So only seven more to go Here's a shot of both cylinder heads completely done. I think they look great uh, It takes a little bit of time uh, Doing each girdle, but if you take your time make sure there's there's no uh, make sure there's no interference, make sure there's plenty of clearance between each of the cam lobes and each of the cam caps. Even doing all this, even just cutting them uh, and then grinding them down just to make sure there's no clearance issues. Uh, that whole process took a couple of hours, uh, probably about close to three hours, but they turned out great. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to follow along on this video, uh, make sure to subscribe.